Mass Mortality Event An incident that kills a vast number of individuals of a single species in a short period of time. Such an event may put a species at risk of extinction or upset entire ecosystems. The thought of hundreds of animals dropping dead all at once seems unpractical, however, this has happened many times, with several different species. Join us, as we look at some of the strangest mass mortality events throughout history. For our first mass mortality event, or MME. Hippopotamuses. In 2004, an estimated 300 hippopotamuses in Uganda's Queen Elizabeth National Park, died after drinking water contaminated with anthrax. The lethal bacteria can frequently be found in the pools of stagnant water that form during Uganda's dry season. The country has suffered from occasional anthrax outbreaks since the 1950s, and because of their semi-aquatic nature, hippos are particularly vulnerable to contamination. A similar event happened in June of 2010, when 82 hippos and 9 buffalo died after drinking water from Kazinga Channel, which links Lake Edward and Lake George, also in the Queen Elizabeth National Park. Up next. Australian Pilot Whales. In late 2008, 60 pilot whales beached themselves along the rocky coast of the southern Australian island state of Tasmania. A week later, 150 long-finned pilot whales did the same. Then, in early January 2009, 45 sperm whales perished when they stranded themselves on a Tasmanian sandbar. And, lastly, in the most egregious in the string of incidents, 194 pilot whales and a handful of bottleneck dolphins beached themselves along the same coastline in March. By the time officials arrived at the scene, 140 were dead. Using stretchers, small boats and jet skis, more than 100 volunteers managed to save 54. But with four beaching incidents in as many months, scientists found themselves at a loss to explain why the majestic mammals had gone ashore. Next up. Honey bees. In 2006, scores of honey bees began dying for seemingly no reason, prompting scientists to come up with the term, colony collapse disorder. According to the Department of Agriculture, reported bee colony death rates in the U.S. were at 29% in 2009, rising to 34% in 2010. Although a handful of plausible explanations have been offered, such as fungal infection, pesticides, and climate change, no one really knows why they're dying. But it's not just honeybees, a study by the University of Illinois suggests that the four main types of bumblebee populations have plummeted more than 90% in the past 20 years. For our next MME. Bats with White Nose Syndrome. A mysterious fungal disease has been killing bats across the U.S. since the first cases were reported in New York in 2006. More than 1 million bats have died in the 14 states and two Canadian provinces where the so-called white nose syndrome has been identified in the nocturnal mammals. The fungus itself doesn't kill the creatures, but rather attacks the hibernating animals on their mouth and nose and prevents them from sleeping. When they are aroused from their slumber, the bats leave their caves for food and burn up body fat reserves, eventually freezing or starving to death. Wildlife commissions across the nation have ordered the closure of hundreds of caves and abandoned mines until a source of the disease and a possible cure or treatment can be identified. The final MME on our list. Chilean birds and sardines. Over the course of two months in 2009, millions of sardines, thousands of flamingos, hundreds of penguins and nearly 60 pelicans died in seemingly unrelated incidents. First, it was the penguins. About 1,200 were found dead in late March on a remote beach in southern Chile. Next, in April, millions of sardines washed ashore nearby. Then thousands of the rare Andean flamingo abandoned their nests in the north of Chile, leaving their 2,000 chicks to die in their shells. Lastly, in late May, nearly 60 pelicans were found dead on the South American nation's central coast. 
To make matters worse, at the time, no one could say for sure, why these animals had died. While some pointed to global warming, overfishing, pollution or disease, most blamed Chile's especially dry and hot 2009 summer. However, it was later determined that these deaths were attributed to red tide, an event that occurs on the coastline when algae, a plant-like organism, grows out of control. So, what did you think of the mass mortality events on our list? Did anyone witness any of these firsthand? Drop a comment and let me know. Thank you for watching.